In my last video, I showed you how to... In my last video, I showed you how to make a very simple dust collector. If you haven't seen the video yet, it's right here. Many commenters had asked whether or not this could suck up water, and yes, it can. The problem is, is that it's just a bit too cumbersome to use for that. But let me show you how to make a smaller version that sucks up water, and it works really well. No-brainer disclaimer, never use this device to suck up gasoline. If you have a small shop vac like mine, you'll find that they don't hold much liquid. And when you take the top off, there's usually no handles to lift it. And the latches on the side aren't the greatest for lifting. And if you have to suck up a lot of water and move it outside, this just isn't a very good setup. And with some small shop vacs, each time you want to empty the container, you have to remove the hose. So let me show you how to make a simple add-on for your shop vac just using a 5-gallon pail. So you'll need one 5-gallon bucket, two inch and a half 90 degree ABS fittings, two straight couplers, two pieces of inch and a half pipe, an inch and three eighths long, two two inch flexible pipe caps, and one lid. And like always, any of the parts or tools I use in this video will be linked in the description below. So first take your lid and mark it at 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, and nine. And then from those marks, measure over four inches. And now take a pair of tin snips and cut out a V at each of the eight marks. And now cut the long sections off and leave the short ones. And what we've created is a lid that's easy to get on and easy to get off. Now take one of the short pieces of pipe and place it in the middle of where you cut the piece out and have it an inch and three eighths from the side. Then take a scriber and mark the spot. And if you want to make a scriber, just cut a piece of coat hanger, put it in your drill, hold it against the grinder with the drill going, and you've made a simple scriber. Then rotate the lid and do the same on the opposite side. Now take a drill and drill a starter hole. These stepper drills are great for cutting plastic. I'll have it linked in the description. Now take your snips and cut out the two openings. And when you're finished, you want to end up with a nice snug fit. Now take your two short pieces of pipe and bang them in. I find that a resistance fit works fine, but if you want to use glue, go ahead. Now pop them both into the lid. Flip it over and bang on the last two straight couplers. Take one of the rubber caps and your shop vac hose, place it on the cap and mark it, drill a hole in the center, then take your Dremel type tool and carve it out until you get close to the line. And when you're finished, you should be able to push your shop vac hose on and have a nice tight seal. Now for the hose on the other side, I found this one. It's smaller than my shop vac hose and has an inner diameter of 7 8 of an inch. And it's 10 feet long. But the good part is, is that they come with these adapters and they all thread onto the hose. Now take the last rubber cap and Dremel it out to fit the hose that you're going to be using. And the last step is to put your rubber caps on and clamp them down. So let me show you how it works. So we've got my little shop back here and the hose goes over to the bucket. And one really good feature about these fittings is that they swivel. And then we have our other hose connected to suck up the water. And you can see how easy it is to pop the lid off, drain the water, and put the lid back on, ready to go again. And one other tip, if you have a more powerful shop vac and it collapses the bucket, just take it and put it inside of a secondary pail and it won't collapse. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and hit the dinger to get notifications, and we'll see you next time.